Hello friends, welcome back to the topic reproduction in animals. In the previous video, we learned about the organs of male and female reproductive system of human beings. Today we are going to learn about a fertilization. Now what is fertilization? Let us see. The first step in the process of reproduction is the fusion of a sperm and an ovum. When sperms come out and come in contact with the egg, one of the sperms may fuse with the egg. Such a fusion of the egg and the sperm is called a fertilization. During fertilization, the nuclei of the sperm and the egg fuse to form a single nucleus. This results in the formation of a fertilized egg or zygote. What can you understand from this? What is fertilization? The union or the fusion of the egg cell, that is the female reproductive cell, and the sperm, that is the male reproductive cell, that is called a fertilization. After the sperms are deposited by the penis, the sperms swim into the uterus and up the oviduct. If an ovum is present in an oviduct, one of the sperms may fuse with the ovum and fertilization takes place. So during fertilization, the nuclei of the sperm and egg fuse together to form a single nucleus. This result in the formation of the fertilized egg or zygote. The formation of the zygote marks the beginning of the new individual. So what is fertilization? The fusion of the egg and the sperm is called a fertilization. So what is happening in fertilization? During fertilization, the nuclei of the sperm and the nucle nuclei of egg fuse to form a single nucleus. So that fertilized egg is called a zygote. So the, from the zygote, the life of the new individual begins. Now you can see the picture here. See, fertilization picture is given. See, this circular diagram shows the diagram of ovum. And these are the sperms. So we learned in the previous video also, every month from one ovary, one ovum is released. This ovum passing through the oviduct and reach near the oviduct or in the uterus. So the male reproductive cell sperms enter and so many millions of sperms will be there. Out of that only one sperm will be uniting or fusing with the nucleus of the ovum. So the second picture seen. This is the two nuclear we can see. One is the nucleus of egg cell and another one is the nucleus of the sperm cell. Both fuse together and become a single cell. That fertilized egg is called a zygote. So this is the picture of zygote which is the fertilized egg. From zygote the beginning of the new individual occurs. So zygote is the fertilized egg formed by the fusion of male reproductive cell sperms and female reproductive cell ova. Okay, you understood all of you? Now we are going to learn about two types of fertilization, external fertilization and internal fertilization. Now this we told about the fertilization of human beings and it is an example of internal fertilization. Now read what is given here, fertilization which take place inside the body of the female is called a internal fertilization. Internal fertilization occurs in many animals including humans, cows, dogs, hens, etc. That is the fertilization which is happening in the female's body. That is, for example, reptiles and mammals, the male deposit the sperms inside the reproductive system of the 
female. The fertilization occurs and the zygote is formed inside the female's body. This type of fertilization that occurs inside the body of the female is known as internal fertilization. In the next video, we will learn about external fertilization. Now we are going to learn something more about fertilization. So the process of fertilization is the meeting of an egg cell from mother and a sperm cell from the father. So the new individual inherits some characteristics or qualities from the mother and some from the father. Now look at your brother or sister. See if you can recognize some characters in them similar to those of your mother and father. What we can understand from this, we learned just now that fertilization occurs by the fusion of egg cell from the mother and sperm cell from the father. So, zygote result from the fusion of sperm cell from the father and egg cell from the mother. Hence, it has the chromosomes and genes from both father and mother. We learned about chromosomes and genes in the previous lesson, cell lesson. So these genes are responsible for the inheritance of qualities or characters from parents to young ones. So the new individual inherits some characteristics both from father and mother. So that is why we are having some characters of our parents. Understand all of you? Now, the remaining part of the lesson we will discuss in the next video. So, today we have learned about the fertilization. Now, the remaining we will continue in the next video. Thank you.